Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Like she said, my name is Jessica Taylor, and I'm here on behalf of Toyota. And we are really excited because, as you may or may not know, this is our not first, not second, but our third year supporting the Cafe Mocha Tour. So we're really excited about that. And Sheila's vision, if you guys can give her a round of applause for doing this as well. As a presenting sponsor, one thing that we're always looking at when we're looking to diversify our talent pipelines at Toyota is our Hiring Our Heroes program. And for you all who do not know, our Hiring Our Heroes program is an organization that we're working with to hire veterans and those who serve our country in different capacities within the business. More importantly, we don't want anyone who goes and serves on our behalf to come back and have trouble finding a job. That's just not something we want to do. So with that, we've been working on this for a while now. and We've been a part of our cultural fabric for over 60 years, and we're committed to continuing to advance mobility and the mobility of our military community as they return to the civil workforce. So it is my distinct honor to introduce you all to retired Sergeant First Class Adrian Evans Quickly. She's a gold star daughter who has served our country with distinction. She shares our vision to be a voice for other female veterans as they transition back to civilian life. However, I think we have a video that tells the story just a little bit better. Take a look at the video. Described as a soldier's soldier, retired Sergeant First Class Adrian Evans quickly has served our country with distinction. She is the recipient of numerous awards, including the 2018 Congressional Veterans Commendation for the 31st District. This Gold Star daughter, whose father died on active duty, started her career in the United States Army Reserves at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. She was deployed to support efforts that included Cambodian fact-finding during the Vietnam era, the invasion of Kuwait during the Gulf War, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. She has worked for 11 general officers with distinction, and her achievement of a 100 on her skills qualification test won her honors from the military police. Among her firsts includes being the first woman assigned to the Allied Land Forces Southeastern Europe NATO Honor Guard and the first woman to acquire the Silver German Qualification Badge. In her life after, she has become an advocate and outspoken voice for other female veterans, demanding their service be recognized and praised. As president of the Women's Army Corps Veterans Association, Chapter 94, she was one of the trailblazers who successfully rallied for the Texas Women Veterans Day celebration on June 12th. Leading by example, always in service to others, she serves with the AME Church Minister Spouses in support of her husband, Reverend Dr. William Quickly, and is a mother of two that includes a son that has served in Iraq and Afghanistan, whose wife is also a veteran. For her service to this country is why retired Sergeant First Class Adrian Evans Quickly is Cafe Mocha's 2019 Salute Her Awards Toyota American Pride Honoree. We're normally behind the lines. We don't normally stand up in public, but first giving honor to God, who is the reason I'm still here. Honor to Sheila and Alex, and those of you in the background who had to come up with some of those pictures, because I know what I look like coming off that battlefield. <laughs> Lonnie, Fleet, and to Toyota, who founded Not Robbery, for those of us who fight every day to make sure that women like us, women like you, women who stand on the battlegrounds and then find it not robbery, when you come back home broken, and batter beaten and having to deploy 11 times, leave your children behind, leave everything else behind, and then find it not robbery to come back and take 12 women and turn them into 2,000 women because we know that we still have a mission to do. Thank you to my battle buddies, the commander, the first female commander of the Purple Heart Association, who is my ride or die, thank you. And to my battle buddy who found it not robbery, to go with me when we went to that state house more times than you can count y'all but you know when God gives you a purpose you don't give up and thank you because when they had that first day that everyone told us was not going to happen and when it happened that same year and we my car had spent so much time going down that highway it knew how to go by itself 
and then to have to try to still keep family because I left them behind. I don't count you as last, but I count you as best. My husband who played mother dearest, learned how to braid hair better than I did. <laughs> to my um, the love of my life, thank you, dear. To my daughter, who is always, always my backup, thank you, dear. To my son, who is still serving and on his way here, thank you. To my daughter-in-law, who is the newest veteran that just got her wings, her heavenly wings, and that is why my son is on his way this way. I thank you to all those who have served. I thank God for those who find an out robbery. I thank all of you who think that just because you're on the end of the spectrum doesn't mean that God won't rise you to the top. Yes. And you have a purpose, live in your purpose. Thank you, thank God, and never give up. Never give up. Thank you so very much.